The Sandy Koufax baseball card that never was, actually was. Quick, a hobby quiz. Which Sandy Koufax baseball card was the last to show him as an active player? If you know your baseball history, then you'll remember that Koufax retired at the age of 30 after the 1966 season, which might prompt you to answer 1967 tops. And that's correct, sort of. Had Koufax played today, his elbow woes likely wouldn't have ended his career so early. And if he did somehow end up on the shelf after a decade and a half of dominance, you can bet that card makers would have scrambled to pay tribute to the man who went 129 and 47 with a 2.19 ERA, 1,713 strikeouts, and 1,632 innings over a six year span. He probably would have landed on Top's number one card and might even worn his own set. See Nolan Ryan for a modern example. And that's exactly what happened in 1967, again, sort of. Back in those days, Topps strove to present a group of players that collectors would be watching every day in the upcoming season. So unless a retiree waited until spring training to make his announcement, chances are he'd be shut out of the set issued the year after his final game. For more seasoned vets who were riding out the string, that meant collectors might not even get a whiff of their cardboard heroes that next year, except for maybe a team card. Koufax did get that treatment, courtesy of card number 503 of the Dodgers. But Koufax had been darn near unhittable in 1966, turning in perhaps his finest season en route to his third Cy Young Award in four seasons. As a consequence, he appeared on 1967 Topps League Leader cards as the top National League man for wins 27, strikeouts 317, and ERA 1.73, the pitcher's triple crown. So cards 234, 236, and 238 were a Koufax tribute in a sense. But even his historic final campaign and his utter mastery on the mound during the 1960s weren't enough for the old gum company to flout their own unwritten rules. Sandy did appear in cartoon form, complete with Groucho Marx's getup, within a separate goofy top set called Who Am I that year. But there was no dedicated 1967 top Sandy Koufax card. Or was there? El Zuro Fabuloso Perhaps recognizing the burgeoning baseball talent in Latin America, Topps ventured into the Venezuela market from 1959 to 68 to produce parallels of its base American sets. In 1967, that effort included three separate issues, a Venezuela League series showcasing winter league players, a Retirado series featuring retired stars, and a third series that included active major leaguers. That middle series contained 50 cards of retired Latin standouts and some of the biggest stars of the game's past, including Babe Ruth, Jimmy Fox, Ted Williams, and Sandy Koufax. The basic design of the Koufax card and the others is similar in its simplicity to the Topps 1967 base set. Player name in small black letters at the top and retirado in large pink block letters at the bottom, where you might have expected to find Dodgers had Koufax been included in the American top set. Photos in the Retirado set are distinctive, though, and impart a different feel than other cards of the set. Sapia images set off by a bold blue background give the pasteboards the feel of a modern art project, built on the shoulders of vintage newspapers. Unusual camera angles add to the effect, as can be seen on Koufax's card, where Sandy's serious visage looms in the background as he gives us a close-up look at his grip on the baseball. Card backs are printed horizontally with black Spanish text on gray beige background, all set off by a thick green border. The cards are numbered sequentially throughout the three Venezuelan series. The Koufax number 162 is one of the more popular among collectors, having been submitted for grading to PSA more than any other card, except for Lou Gehrig number 141 and Mickey Mantle number 192. Even so, only 16 of the Koufax cards have been slabbed, and none have been graded out better than near mint. If you're putting together a complete run of Koufax cards, that scarcity will add to your challenge, as the 67 Venezuelan appears on Lefty's master set listing in a PSA card set registry. According to the company's card fax page, a near mint specimen will set you back about $4,500, but the truth is that it comes to the market so infrequently in any condition that there is no true parameters for judging the cart's value. 
What we do know for sure is that if you want a single, dedicated 1967 Sandy Koufax baseball card, the Tops Venezuelan Retirado is really the only game in town. Like our video? Then like our video and subscribe to our channel. WaxPackGods.com